kid got on a right. treadmill uh, and hold got on, wrapped hold up on, hold with on. the cord. Uh, well, it, what it was worse than that. Four years old. The, the 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 kid on the treadmill was was bouncing around because it, the treadmill backed up into the yeah. wall. Bad. And it, I didn't it just, hear about that. Yeah, that was it just like shredded them. That uh, it pummeled, you know, whatever. It was bad. So Man, this dude terrible. like us opening up with a horrible circumstance. Yes, that's a great. I don't care. We were, great we're way taking to a break leave. during the, uh, the the halftime, and we were pulling up some uh, a, a current some you know the latest shit that's had going on with some of the um, uh, the news articles. And then Mike Tyson uh, popped up. And um, where you know he's being badgered by some folks, yeah. by some jackasses there, on. Yeah, on, he got into um, an altercation on an airplane. Yeah, right? and, and he ended up. That's not Mike. Tyson. Popping off a few rounds of his of his hands. I think they were love taps, personally. Dude, come on! You saw the boy. He had red blemishes. Yeah, and on he the was side. he was pouting. He was pouting to the camera. He uh, was like, "Oh, this is a civil law. Oh, I got what I needed. A hundred million. He absolutely." Uh, Get the fuck Deserve out of it. here. He's going to get a wardrobe. That's about it. Dude. Uh, he's not getting shit. He I, hope, I hope he doesn't get anything. He was I hope he threw a water bottle nothing. at the dude, badgering right. him. Yeah. So, oh, obviously, wow. we're a That's little consumed get. right now. It's uh, This is t- t- Tuesday, April 26th. This is the second session of Dudes Like Us. This is my dad's birthday today. Happy birthday really? to you never Papa. Mentioned that. That's why we went out to Papa Tahoe. Jeff, which I can't yeah. say. But it's today. Mr. Today is his official Jeff. birthday. He turns yeah. 80. He turns Can you have him call in? Oh, well, uh, I don't know if we have the technology for that right now. We we do but have he's the technology at this point. You got uh, all kinds of technology because he's he's no. Uh, we actually do. We just he's in, in an earlier time zone. It's seven o'clock out by him. I know. It's crazy. He, he wakes up at five. When are we gonna try that technology? I'm excited. We about tried trying. it like a mo- like six months ago. No, we we we've had it for. We never did. Dude, it. Dude, you were out sleep. there in the other room when we yeah, did it. Yeah, but I mean, literally try it. Like during a you podcast. You me during a podcast. Uh, well, you know. Well, we don't. We're not live, so I know we'd still be fun. Well, technically, we're live. <laughs> well, we're... no, but we're not broadcasting anywhere. Oh, well, there so you that'd go. That'd be kind of weird, right? Like, Any happy birthday <laughs> to uh, <laughs> Jeff's dad. Thank you, Brian. Dude, what's your guy's first name? <laughs> Ken. Ken. Yes. Uh, Ken. Ken. Uh, we're not saying his last name, so we got happy birthday, Ken. Turn eighty years old. What a, nice. what a great marker in life. Now I feel weird because I said my last name like right we'll, cut right that out. Of thing. we'll cut it out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, you can have it in there if you want. It's it. up to you. I don't really yeah, care. We usually right. remove his entire track anyway. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So there's Sean. a lot of editing that goes on. <laughs> yeah. so don't it's worry a weird about it. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's actually just Paul and Jeff. I always <laughs> introduce myself as full name. I don't know why I always have so. Uh, well, because you have a podcast where you don't have to hide anything, we have to per- we have to hide our identities. See, this we is the problem. Crazy, with free like inflammatory shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll be hunted <laughs> down and killed by the woke mob. Yeah. Hey, hey, although the hey, Twitter mob may Stan? be changing because they're all threatening to quit, or they have already quit Twitter. Yeah, well, apparently there was an exec that was crying. I don't care what people on Twitter do. I just want my Formula One, Mavericks, and Longhorns news. That's hey, nude? That, that's what I use. You're a big Formula but One he, fan? He did yeah. not say nude, Paul. I've, I've, I've I heard him say you want your Longhorns fan. nude. So he wants his Longhorns I've started to get into the Formula One. I, I, I oh, don't did you know watch much Drive about to it. Survive? But I've watched the Netflix show. Yeah, the Drive to Survive. And, uh, it's amazing, uh, isn't it? It is. It's fascinating. God, I, I never knew that whole out, world existed. What are you guys talking about? We're talking about Drive to Survive on Netflix. Drive to Survive, okay. Formula One. It's the greatest short or the greatest sports show ever done. Ever done. I don't know. Okay, that's a throwdown. I All like right, that. Well, I like that. Better I mean, than the Jordan me, documentary. I mean, I don't know. Hold on, Jeff. What were you saying? Let's what? create a little footnote here. Well, well, Brian, Brian is on the second half of the show. He All is. Right? True. Brian is also... On his third um, bottle. <laughs> Brian is also... Don't uh, even... Don't bottle. Are you gonna bring up my bourbon? Oh, you know I'm on what? my second. We're glass not shaming. We're not bourbon <laughs> shaming. Hold on. Second okay, he's on a second bourbon. glass of bourbon mm-hmm. on the f- second half of the show. We don't. We don't bourbon. <laughs> sh- hold on. We don't bourbon <laughs> shame our guests. Yeah, come on, man. Come on. I'm well, not even. I'm not, like, not even close to. It's not a full bottle. I could drink a bottle sample in an hour yeah. and fifteen minutes. So, Evidently, <laughs> yeah, we don't. We don't. We don't bourbon shame, but we do I, have. I vomit mean, I don't bags. guarantee the results of that, but I can do it. <laughs> but Brian, we do have vomit bags at the end of the table. I'm not going to yeah. vomit. It's, it's right next to the yeah, Nazi helmet. Right next to don't the worry, Nazi helmet. I won't vomit. Okay. We're professional. On my second glass. <laughs> no, nah, look, we're just, we're just fucking with you. Right, I mean, good. but all seriousness, there are um, dudes like us vomit bags. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a good. Uh, we we do have two. Good bling. It's a we do wonderful have two Christmas bathrooms gift. located to the left and the right of the first wing. Yeah, 
outside you, the door. You told me really? Yeah, that was silly. Really? Yeah. All right, so we're talking that. about Mike Tyson during the break, thanks, and thanks, um, he was on the airplane, and some dude was acting like a jackass yeah. behind him, yeah. and Mike Tyson got tired of it. It was Mike. He gonna put up a shit. Yeah, yeah. he loved. Reached back there. He did not love tap him. Don't. Don't antagonize Mike Tyson. Yeah, I mean, seriously. He I mean, what are you doing? What do you expect? I think he was trying to get the viral hits. It looks me. Look at me. And then, totally. then he got the actual Because hits. after he got oh. beat up, they have a, a video of him looking at the camera pouting like, oh, well, he hurt me. I mean, suddenly, come on. The whole right. thing was a joke. Suddenly he's sober. <laughs> right? <laughs> and that or concussed. Uh, my head hurts and... I shouldn't Fuck have that been jacking. No way. Yeah, I agree. Fuck I hope he doesn't guy. get a penny from, well, from Mike Tyson, I mean, but he will sue. The, the reality of it is he's, he's probably going to get some money from it. And, Hopefully you know, in, in JetBlue, they probably will get sued, too, for okay. creating an environment in which this can happen. Well, no. he, here, here's, here's, here's my issue. Why is Mike Tyson flying on JetBlue? Oh, shit. What the fuck he is going on in left. world? He doesn't. He spent all his money. Did yeah, he really? Is that a, is that a, is that all true? His money. Yeah. Huh, are you sure oh, about sure that? He's been through a lot of it, but he did he's that got Broadway a, show. He's got. He's been well, he may have a lot of money now, but he he ran out of money. Yeah, but he was on JetBlue yeah. this week. The, but he didn't book those tickets ten yeah, years ago. But still, I mean, <laughs> I'm not saying he doesn't have any money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, he I booked these the... tickets ten years ago when I had no money. <laughs> Mike Tyson can't afford fucking American no, Airlines. No, well, hold that. on, maybe he had JetBlue points. But well, <laughs> could uh, be. fuck no, but, you I know, don't. Maybe he's just a realist. He's just like I'm not fucking paying two thousand dollars for okay, first class. I mean, okay. come on. I mean, look, hold last on. time, now, last time he was on the Joe Rogan show, he was pretty spiritual, and he's he look he was. Mike Tyson is not that guy Look. anymore. Mike Tyson is he's he's talking about some rapper and he was talking about how uh you know you, that you should forgive people. You know, if you don't forgive oh, people yeah, that cool. you know they're, they're going to own you. And yeah, he's like, but what about sure. people that are throwing shit at you and, okay, and, I'm, and I'm, mocking man, you? Well, I mean that's different. I mean, look, come on. You don't fucking throw stones at a at a at a German shepherd. Right. You know? Yeah. But I will tell you, I was on an airplane one time, and I got into it with, with another guy. Are you kidding me? Tyson? No. So get this. No, no, no. no, 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 no. I've never told, I have never told the story before. very slowly through this whole thing, because yeah. I can see this happening. Yeah, yeah. No, hold on. So we're coming back from, like, Cancun, okay? On JetBlue. Uh, how, uh, how long uh, I think it was. It was no, it was me? SunJet. I'm, Sun I'm the cheapest best. Oh, there you, we you go. One of those charter deals, you know what I'm talking uh, about? Oh, Where everybody's yeah. drunk and everybody's having a good time. Sad. I'm out. Right? I'm out. Okay. Right? Well, so I'm sitting in the middle seat. My wife's in the, at the window, and mm -hmm. there's this old dude that is sitting next to me. Oh, and you took the old dude out. No. And oh, there's, uh -huh. there's a jackass behind the old dude, mm -hmm. okay? And the, and the guy behind us is boisterous and kicking and all sorts of stuff. So the old dude, like, turns around and goes, hey, man, can you stop kicking my seat? No. You know? No. And then that went on like three or four times. Oh, God. Okay. And then and then this guy starts to antagonize him, the old dude next to me. Yeah. And so he takes his drink and he takes his he puts a straw in his drink and he's holding it over the seat and dripping on his head. No fucking way. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And oh, I and finally I was it. like, I stop and I turn and I look at him like through the crack, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, Really? Yeah, buddy. And the guy goes, and the guy go, and the and, and the guy stands up and sticks his hand through the through the thing and says, "Hi, my name is blah 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 blah." Right? Should have grabbed his hand. And no, broke you know what I said? Right I said, "I don't need to know you." I said exactly what I said to him. I said, "I don't need to know you." Like, get your hand out of my face. I don't need to know you. That was antagonistic. You're a douche. So the dude goes <laughs> ballistic. Oh wow! Oh, he starts. Uh, I hear him talking. He's like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this motherfucker." Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, he's talking hold on, hold the whole on, time. His wife, and but you had, to, you had to say, "I heard him talking." Was there a point of the flight you couldn't hear him talking? No, I mean he. It, I Is mean, it he was just, hearing aids? No, he so was just being boisterous. I, I didn't down. care about what he was saying. So he was saying oh. it loud enough to. Oh, for sure. Try to. And his girlfriend was trying and, to calm him down, calm him down, and he and he was saying, I could hear him saying, and Shelly was like, "Calm down, calm down." And I was like, "Okay, I know. I'm just if he if he throws, I'll throw. Well, let's go. Like I'm going to defend yeah. myself, and I'm going to defend this dude next to me." And the yeah. dude next to me was like, "Going, I don't know what's going on. Right, I'm just an old dude minding my own business." And Jeez. so he's saying, "You know, just wait." Just wait when we get off the plane. Oh, That's what yeah. he's Maybe talking. Maybe at the flagpole. Oh, he's, to talking. he's saying he's <laughs> yeah. going to follow me to my car. Oh, okay. Wait till we get to my car. Yeah. I mean, he's saying all sorts of crazy shit. And I'm like, okay, yeah. brother, get, I'm ready for you. Like, yeah. whatever whatever you're going to do. 
But it ended up being no big deal. He got off the plane. I got off the plane. The girlfriend calmed him down. Mm. But, I mean, it was that kind of deal. The guy was drunk. I I embarrassed him by saying, I don't need to know you. Right? That was a direct throwdown. Sure it was. I was like, get your hand out of my face. I don't need to know you. I don't care who you are. This is Papa Bear. Bitch, sit down. Yeah, I was like, brother, do you have any idea? I'm like, Mike Tyson, I'm going to love Dude, tap I've been playing I'm basketball tap bitch. for 20 I'm gonna years. Go, do, 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 do. Look, look at my back tap. This is why no, I, my, oh, I had a tramp. <laughs> that, was when, that was before I lasered off my tramp scam. Oh, well, hell. Why did you like, lay on? <laughs> oh, dude, it was bad. You lay on your butt, spread your legs, and it was a spider. Ass butterfly. Oh, it's it's no, tank no, 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 fuck that. It was a spider that went around to my nips. <laughs> tank tat. Oh, yeah. You pulled that one out? Like, what? You shoved yeah. it between the chairs. You're looking for some landing strip. Yeah. Wow. I, well, I had it until then. That's why you don't fly a discount airline. Yeah, I just, anyway, so the, there are, there are douches discount? on airplanes, guys. There are douches on airplanes. Well, there is. I've never, and what are you going to do? You're not going to defend yourself? Oh, I mean, come on. No. Well, the thing is, you're in an, an enclosed well, but you have to, metal tube. You have nowhere yeah. to go. Yeah. So you right. got to kill him. It's kill or be killed. It is. You just have to get a slice of throat. <laughs> I'm already claustrophobic. Like I'm already like right? an anxiety mess and on an airplane anyway. That's where you whip like, your I'm dick out. Yeah, hey, you're already on like, edge, right? I'm total freak out on an airplane. Like I, I hold it together really well, but I'm like inside, like I'm boiling, like I'm dying, like I want to be. Oh, off the well, you know, you hear those there. stories about the people that like try to open the door. I told. I actually got stuck in the during tarmac the plane, in like Houston. during the flight. I was in Houston, and I and, and we stopped on the tarmac, and the, the day Delta got hacked. And so we stop on the tarmac, and I'm like, we're not pulling up to a gate. So I'm getting on, and I'm like, Delta, a news, and it, it's all over the news. It's Delta got hacked. And so what we're that mean? sitting there. You're saying hacked? They got hacked. Their system got hacked. So they grounded all their flights. Oh, no. This or was United. Was you dated or dealt? So you were stuck. And so we're sitting on, because I noticed, I've been on planes my whole life. Okay, so my, my parents lived in two different states. So I was on planes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Sure. I've been on planes since I was five years old, right? So you have like five billion miles? Oh, well, I would if they had miles back then. But, <laughs> and so we're, I noticed we weren't going anywhere. And I was like, this is, this is bullshit. Like, like, what's going on? So I'm like, oh, the thing. So I finally, I, I got up, because I was in a window seat, which I hate anyway. Right. And so I get up. And I go out to the aisle and I stopped the, the well, window the seat's stewardess. my favorite. And Me she too, comes actually. Over, she comes no, over and she's, I, I told aisle. her, I said, I said, I know what's going on. I said, I know that, you know, I just Googled and whatever. And she's like, I'm like, when are we getting off this fucking plane? I got to get off this plane. And she's like, we we going to wait till we need the gate. And you she's know, trying to calm you down. Leaving yeah. so we don't have a gate. And I'm like, here's the deal. I can't stay here very long because I'm going to go to that emergency exit. And she goes, here's the deal. She goes, you call 911. Before you pull that exit open. Oh, no shit. And she goes, you call 911. Otherwise, it's a felony, right? Or yeah. some crazy shit like that. And she that. goes, and I will be the first person behind you to make sure you're okay. <laughs> she said like, that? The flight yeah. attendant said that? Yeah. She's Good like, for her. That was very calm of her. Like, shit, man. I can't be here. And she's like, well, hopefully we're not here long, and I'll try to make you as comfortable as possible. Did she I'm bring like, you, you some jack? break out that, you know, rum. No, right? I was going to say, you she know? need to bring you some jack. I need the Bacardi. So did that happen? No. They don't serve alcohol when they're on the ground. Well, bitch. they can just walk by and kind of be like. They don't serve alcohol at all now. Yeah, no, you know, no, they start. It. They're starting to again. Most yeah. airlines, well, because everybody was crazy about masks and shit. I know. And that's all. Well, I just, I just, I just flew. That's over. At least I just flew supposedly. yesterday. I just flew. I have to fly again tomorrow. I just flew yesterday back. To, no back mask, home. right? Yeah, no mask. It was that's great. Awesome. And I, with the flight out there, I was sitting next to an older couple who wore them. No one fine. gave anybody shit. I don't care if you were. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. Either. No, no I, one gave anybody whatever, shit. Man. I hate those. Yeah, we just make fun and of you. It was probably five to ten nice. percent of the people were wearing. Masks. Look at the Democrat wearing yeah, a fucking look mask. Look at the pansy scared of COVID. No, I look at it this way. Look at me. Uh, I look at it this way as far as mask. If if, if you have a health concern, pretty insensitive or you're old, there, Sean. Yeah, I get it. Then you wear the mask. Yeah, sure, yeah. and whatever. Or right. you have old people in your family or something. Oh, for sure. No, no, no. The, but the reality it. of it is, fine. if you have allergies, yes. wear the mask. I, do, I don't care what you allergies, wear a mask for. But I the, don't want to wear the one. The thing is, is that the allergies, the only thing that those masks are good for are picking up allergy spores well, I, that uh, the mask can actually right. filter. That's because right. outside of that, those masks don't do shit. They're completely ineffective for COVID. Completely. They well, proved it. 
They have proved it. Whatever. It makes people feel better. It, that's exactly well, what it is. Well, so blowjobs. That's exactly and what it is. I don't care. And they don't serve those I don't those care what you need in your life well, to make you feel better. That. I just don't want huh. to wear a mask. Right. It's like when COVID broke out, I couldn't even get masks. I just bought a bunch of bandanas off Amazon. Oh yeah, no, oh, no. Yeah. You, remember they talk gave about you, effective. No, they gave you they have zero percent. Exactly, effective. they gave you instructions on <laughs> how to cut fuck, up your old T-shirts then it fuck, and then make it, one. Remember that? Oh then yeah, that's what we did up. when it first came out. I went to Kroger with with a fucking red T-shirt that was. I, so I, I put out the litmus. Shirt I was like, well, hey, look, I did that too. Here's the litmus test to figure out if you're wearing enough garments to be able to. Uh, Prevent you from getting COVID, and that's simple. If you can fart and smell it, it's not going to work. I don't think smells and are mm. smells and viruses. If, if you the can, same size? I think it's if, the smallness. Of if you like can, the, the fart yeah. is larger than the COVID. Is that is that scientifically? That's a, a fact? scientific. I don't know the exact. Well, I will say COVID is well, point, hold on. I will say point this. zero six micro nanomicron. Well, hold That's on. it. I, it's I micro nan, nanomicrons. Ma, micro nanons. It's know. point oh oh six, and a fart is is even smaller. I feel like. But hold on. Not all farts are created equal. Yeah, I was going right? to say, yours I are think, beefy. Yeah, your, <laughs> your, your are molecules like, are, I think are it's I like think slime. Slime. Like oil-based as opposed they're to They're literally like gigantic like molecules. You, see, you can actually see it. Yeah, it's, they're visual. Oh, here you go. Here's a visual comparison of um, water. Just no, 10 to this. the negative this 1. This is nuts. Look at where's this. a fart? What, what the hell is yeah, this? but where is yeah, where's COVID? fart? Yeah, where's I don't fart? see fart. Where's Sean's fart? No, <laughs> I'm sorry. I see tennis ball. Tennis we ball is not as big as a virus. No, ten. Okay, well, Sean's fart is ten to the eight. Those are using exponents. Ten to the eighth. Oh, power. I see. Okay, I thought they were supposed to oh, be. Oh, there's just virus scale. right there. Oh, bacteria. What about? Oh, see, so a period. <laughs> okay, so water. Oh, is not a ten woman's to the period. Just a period. A virus is ten to the second power. What about quantum so dots? That's 100. I'm still quantum looking for dots. Sean's fart. No, no. Look, there is a chart out there that says dar- uh, farts and A um, period, as COVID. in like a female period? I just said that. No, know, it's a normal worries. period, like, it's like a sentence. It's like a period on the no. Well, what's the size yes. font? Is it 12 font? Yeah. Oh, I mean, you can have that. That actually has a period on there. Now, is that is that like the... Punctuation? Yes, punctuation. Okay, it's as not opposed the, to the female yeah, menstruation cycle. cycle. We're not talking Ant about flow. uterus lining. <laughs> Sloughing of you? the lining. Sloughing. Sloughing. That's such a vulgar <laughs> word. Good Lord. God, we're I having don't... a podcast, Jeff. <laughs> who who says you? sloughing? Yeah, who says sloughing? <laughs> Isn't that the correct terminology? <laughs> it might be. Well, the size of a but fart nobody says that. The sloughing of the uterus lining. All right, so there we go. So It's got a shedding off. It's going to fall God. Well, they're showing the molecules, and the, the, I don't they, need the molecules. They've got some. <laughs> okay, can we move on from the size this of a virus ridiculous. compared okay. to well, Sean's fart? There's somebody's ass blowing gas. Scroll out. down a little bit. Well, all right. Well, that's a cow. No, there's a no, picture. The, up one. <laughs> up. Um, right, right there. there. Oh, that's Sean. There you go. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, it's a so picture of Sean. <laughs> a, a cosmobiologist dreams. It's twenty we go. to ninety okay. percent nitrogen. Okay, these 10 are Sean's to 30% farts. Carbon dioxide. Twenty to ninety percent. Okay, okay. Well, hold on. It can't be twenty to ninety, and then hydrogen be zero to fifty percent. This oh. is all over the place. Well, well I, that that the nitrogen levels are pretty high. That's so. why this, they all smell different. Well, methane is what makes it smell bad, right? Well, that's only zero between zero okay, and 10%. Okay, so he's 99% methane? Is yeah, that what Sean say, is? Sean is just like all methane. You realize if you wear a butt mask, you can make some money. <laughs> I feel like people need to stop farting. Yeah. Whoa, Ooh. if you were to do that. You God, could do that in the you... bathroom, in your own damn private time. Can I stand up and start clapping? Yeah. I want to give you a standing ovation saying, right now. That is the most profound... Look, that is the Jeff. most profound comment that's like, like, ever uh, been made. Who is this Okay, guy? people yeah. don't poop in public. People well, don't well, pee in public. Well, hold on. I mean, if you, hold if you on. are in California, but let's not fart in public. Can we just can we end this? Can we do all bathroom? I'll stuff tell you what. In if, the if they stop cigarette smoking in public, I I'll stop like farting. In public. What's wrong with smoking? With smoking doesn't I, do anything. I to don't the like people. cigarette smoking in public, especially well, when I'm sitting like, at a restaurant. I don't, I don't like loud music. Well, I, I'll what? fart. Do you ever see that bullshit? What episode? are you communist? You ever see the, the, the Penn and Teller bullshit? He goes to see White Zombie. Yeah. They did the, they did the one on smoking, <laughs> secondhand smoke. Zombie. And they're no, like... Marilyn Manson. Was it White Zombie or Marilyn Manson? Which one did you go to see? <laughs> like, oh, uh, uh, white, 
Rob Zombie actually was with Marilyn Manson, by the way. It was a dual tour. Oh. And you went to it? Yeah, he just that's asked, loud music. Yeah, I would have loved that funny, concert. But that's says, loud music. He says, which one? Well, of course I like loud music. I'm, I'm just facetious. I'm just with him. You're completely fucking with him. It's I get that. Sarcasm. It's facetiousness. So, is that a word? Damn, I forgot sarcasm. what I was going to say. Oh, I think I meant God. It was a good one, too. It was oh. a singer. What? what had to do with farts? Marilyn Manson. No, oh, Marilyn Manson. Dude, oh, he was almost ball. dead when I saw him on concert. And then, by the way, two shows later, he had a heat stroke in Houston. The hell? Really? What's I wrong? was I was telling my wife, I was like, this this fool's dead. Like he's like laying over this pulpit and like laying on the Dude, ground. Manson? Yeah, Marilyn Manson. Wait, was, heat stroke performing? Yeah. He was him and Rob Zombie went on tour together. Rob Zombie's got some fantastic. Yeah, I, I don't funk. see either I one love mm. Rob Zombie. I don't see either one of those guys being very healthy. Rob Zombie's Rob awesome. Zombie's dude. actually he's, very he's smart. He's a writer, a director. He's, he's written books. Smart. Okay, he's, so he's healthy. He's insane, dude. He's, yeah. he's so so. The other guy, Marilyn Manson, is not well, healthy. but he Marilyn was in Manson Texas is, and he had a heat stroke two yeah, shows later. Marilyn so. Manson is an actor and that, that sings and he's just whatever. He beats up women too. Yeah, apparently. he got torn up. Yeah, he's well, got the, fake boobies. Well, yeah, but he denied it all. Well, there's a documentary out there that 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 girl See? put out. Here we go. And uh, documentary. documentary. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. If it's she documentary, all, it's true. All the evidence points to there whatever I he decided said, so. <laughs> How, He used to beat the women up with what? Here we go. No, he, she, go. he, he mentally, I don't know if he, I, I haven't watched it. Uh, I don't watch it. I mean, abuse it. comes in many forms. So. It could be. Me- I think it was mentally, and uh, some, there was some physical and, in there as well. Hey, well hold on. Look at the John De- the Johnny Depp Johnny, and, and, yeah. and Amanda oh, Heard thing. Yeah. Johnny yeah. Depp thing Dude, is there's crazy. mental abuse going on both sides. Oh, my, oh my yeah. God. I think oh, those people shit. hate each other, and they were getting crazy with each other. Dude. Okay. You I don't know winning? much about that Johnny Depp stuff. All I know is that I am thank God I'm not married no to shit. that woman. To a toxic. Um, to uh, toxic. So there were, toxic. A, there were a few uh, psycho. sanity, dude. I, I, the, I, I, um, so the, 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 the court appointed lawyer or the right. lawyer for the girl, you know, the, she was trying to, to beat up uh, Johnny Depp and, and start poking at him a little bit and, and asking about, you know, what kind of drugs are you taking? Or she was really focused on like a, his size. Yeah. It says, so you can see yourself a, lo- a lot larger than. The like penis size? Yeah, no, 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 just no. In, height. In, in general. And she was like, like Ted Sessions. Johnny yeah, like, Depp was like, like he's no, a fucking we're, rock. We're, Pete, we're Pete about, Sessions. <laughs> we're, uh, Pete it Sessions, says, sorry. I wouldn't agree to that statement. You know, basically, he was saying that she is a big woman. And uh, they have. Oh, he's badgering. Uh, yeah, they're totally sh- body uh, shaming him. So, so Mr. Him producer, if you were able to pull up Johnny Depp uh, court. Amber Heard. Uh, Amber yeah, he, Heard. She body oh, shaming him. Um, he, that's but, her name. In, in the size. She's such a bitch, man. That meme makes more sense now. Uh, Amber Heard. Um, Amber Heard. <laughs> puns. Memes, she, was in, she was the redhead in uh, Aquaman. Oh, I yeah. never saw Aquaman. She was the redhead in Aquaman. Um, she got booted off the next movie. I don't watch a lot of superhero. She movies. did, according to Stephen. Yeah, she got he got she got booted off the next. Yeah, well, and so did Johnny Depp. Got off booted off of but she Pirates didn't. of the Caribbean. She so they both got screwed. They both screwed each other. Well, they did. Well, yeah, did she, she screwed. Well, that's why no, he's suing her. No, that's the whole. Th- the whole thing is that she was she was telling people that he was beating up her, and he yeah. was not beating her. Well, up. she yeah, put, she was beating him. She she never named his name. She, well, she put something out on the New York Times to the, to the yeah. point where An he editorial. was declined an opportunity to work because of the shenanigans well, that she well, was Well, he got pulling. booted off the latest uh, Harry Potter movie because he yeah. was the bad guy in that. They recast him in that. Was he really? And then Disney was going to do another uh, Pirates, the, yeah, yeah. and yeah. then they backed out of that because of this whole thing. So his yeah. career is dead right yeah, now. Yeah, it is. And I mean, he and he can you is, click on videos. He is Pirates of the Caribbean. I've been in a lot of relationships in my life, and I've never been physically abused by any woman. That's good. But if I had been, like, I would never tell anybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, that, that's the thing. So, and, like, how many and guys? You see it in this trial. How many guys go through this shit? You, you see it in this I think trial. A lot. He, I think he more than means. you think. I yes. feel horrible for As this well. guy because yes. you can't do anything. You about You can't it. do anything. I mean, what do you do about it? And that's what he says. He says, I've never hit a woman. I've never done... And nobody's, he, nobody would believe you. Oh, yeah. Memes. Put a memes in addition. 
That's fucked up, man. See, that this is, is where it's, it's hard to be it's a It's a no-win situation he, he for a dude. Win. And then he goes out here and he tells a story and like he's getting ripped up on Twitter and yeah, all this ju- shit. Making fun of him? Yeah. What, are you a pussy? Uh, getting yeah. beaten up by your wife? Yeah, <laughs> but the, the, he had some pretty he had some pretty funny comebacks in, during the trial. Did he? Uh, I, I was trying to find him up there, but we, we couldn't find Did him. Did he sound like Jack Sparrow? Uh, he's got a he's got a weird voice, you know. What, what, they they talk about it? his relationship with Marilyn Manson. Can we do video right now, they, please? He, they were like, "Well, uh, have you ever done cocaine with Marilyn Manson? Yes, I have. Have you ever yeah, done pills? Awesome. He says, "No. Have you ever supplied pills to Marilyn Manson?" And Johnny Depp said, "Well, it's because I wanted him to stop talking so much." You know, because I guess <laughs> right. So he throws a little zinger out yeah. there, nice. and you know, and it's and it's just like and it was like, have you ever woke up in the morning and started drinking? He was like, well, I didn't really think happy hour had a specific time labeled to it. Nice. So I heard the judge told so the what? told what? the the crowd, do not no more laughing. Really? So that wow. must be what. What the references that was, to That was one the of them The judge got like Cracked down and, He was like the, you know, One he of the other them, ones With was no more laughing where In this the, the lawyer said You know They were they're questioning His size versus his Her size And he was just like Well I wouldn't Categorize, categorize myself As being uh, Bigger than she You know We're, we're almost the same size You know okay. And the, the look on her face When he said that You know The, the meme is They've got this Clown music playing on her, and she's kind of like, you know, <laughs> can look at side to side, up and down. That's funny. That's funny. Uh, it's crazy though. They, uh, this, it's too this, bad we can't pull up any video. Hey guys, this is getting tons of press. I have. It's getting tons of press. I have always been a big Johnny Depp fan. Me too. I love, I love the weird movies that he does. Me like, too. What's eating Gilbert Grape and like all this weird shit that he does? Because I like weird movies. I don't like mainstream blockbuster movies. So I've always been appreciative of his weird choices of Ed Wood, right? Um, like we go down the list, but but to stand up and say that your wife beat you. It takes balls. That takes balls. It takes balls, man. It takes right, some so serious balls. We've got, uh, here we go. we've got some some quotes here. I ever struck um, any woman um, in my life. Miss Heard, in her frustration and in her rage and her anger, she would uh, strike out. She would. It, it could begin with a slap. It could begin with a, a shove. Um, it could begin with you know throwing a. TV remote at my head. It could be uh, throwing a glass of wine in my face. It was a photograph of the bed, our bed. Um, and on. So she drops a deuce. Oh, yeah. Bed, she took a uh, shit. Was human fecal matter. Holy shit. Yeah. So I she shit, shit on, on the bed. Bad. Yeah, well, he was he wasn't around. And it wasn't a good time to go down there. Well, he was he was out of town, and his maid had called and okay. said the maid. Uh, hey, oh, I thought he met down in the no, no region. No, yeah, they went I, into defecating on each other. I would like to thank <sighs> every girl I've ever been with right now for not shitting on my side of the bed. Yeah, <laughs> you should have physically squat. <laughs> That's... Have you ever seen the, the the cartoon where it says the guy the guy's laying there and he's got this big steaming lump no. of shit on his forehead? Why would you have that? No, 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 hold on. And he says, "I said, sit on my face." <laughs> no, is that from porn? Gross. Too? Actually, it's from uh, Playboy. Dude, she <laughs> shit on his side oh. of the bed. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. Did she sleep in it afterwards? I, I assume no, no. She took a shit and left. And yeah. then the house cleaner, he probably the had, housekeeper. But the house cleaner identified. She she was like, "Hey man, this isn't this isn't dog shit yeah. because I I pick up your dog shit around the house and I know yeah everything yeah. about your dog. This is girthy. This is this well, is well. She also said she ate corn last night, and uh, there's lots of corn in there and beans because you know shit. corn doesn't break down and curry. I don't need to know anything curry? else Some about celery. This trial. What the uh, oh, you know. celery doesn't break down either. Is celery like no, corn? It's very high con- high content of curry in her diet fiber. the last week. High fiber. Celery strings. 
am, am I right on this? Corn just doesn't break down. Like well, you that's always why you say you have the corn. Well, that's why you're I know to you chew. always find it in there. It, it doesn't matter. Well, hold on, who finds not? corn? I mean, what were you like rummaging through your poop? Well, no. Anybody well, do you, who do you eats masticate corn? your corn no. until it's okay. Like every, nothing? First off, every guy after he takes a shit, he looks down there because it's like a big one. Well, now, you should. Chew. And that's I, like I a record. Usually, every I, time it's a record, right? That's not true. Well, and if you eat corn, you're like looking at it, and you're like, oh, but these what? But no. here's the thing. There's only no. only when I feel there's a record breaker do I even look down there. I Otherwise, I just flush. There's like no. a courtesy flush. I look you every time. You should check the this, this size, shape. and I do. You I look, look every at time. your shit to make but, sure it's healthy. Yeah, just, I look every time. Yeah, because there's... Well, there's, I mean, once in a blue moon, I do, but... And I, I comes out black, there's blood in it. And I see down. corn. Oof. I see corn when I eat corn. Because if you go to the bathroom <laughs> and it's all blood... You no probably bueno. should know that. So you probably just take a look. I and mean, remember, we, this and this is a good, this is a good health tip. I've ever had yeah, though, though, this is a good health health tip. So if you see in your stool that there's uh, dried dried blood, is dark. Yeah, okay, black. it's black. Okay. It's almost black, which means if you are bleeding in your stomach, yeah. and intestines, it's drying before, it and it's dry. Yes, yeah. but if it's bright red. Then you have hemorrhoids, right? It's it's at the very or, tail or you end. Can, you've, you've already eaten a lot of, of the beets. digestive. You know, do you funny. guys have your like your BM caliper so you can like measure the size? I actually <laughs> measure it every time. I pull it out. I smell it. Yep. I taste it. Do you I'm put just, your mouth I'm around? Just talk about the yeah. calipers. Just kind of milk. When you you have brought up calipers a lot. Well, he's got a BM caliper. Yeah. He, so let's talk about calipers. Well, you so have you have, have a set of like 200 calipers. You have to have an accurate measurement. That's true. And Don't the only way it? to accurately well, measure it, it was the caliper. Completely yeah, but, agree. But, you but, I think, a... but I think he has a very unique set. I mean, well, it's got to be a very right? unique set. Have you ever tried to, to measure the, the, the girth of a, of a poo? Yeah. I mean, it's very uh, soft. Yeah, but well, you got to uh, be exact. Jeff's yeah. poop? Well, you have very. Poo. It's you have very wide poops? Sometimes it's like a big pineapple grenade. It's like a. It's like a That's chode nice. poop. Jesus Christ. That's nice, yes. It's a chode poop. It, it's like a no, it's huge like, it's like an arm. Elmer's glue an arm. pudge. Okay. <laughs> this has run its course. Yeah. Yeah. Can we? Yeah. So on, there's a bourbon on behalf on of our one listener, did you see we're the, going to move on did you see the, to the, a new topic. The bourbon that's on the screen. Uh, yes. Uh, El, uh, go ahead and bring us into this. Brian. What is what is the bourbon? That's what we drank. L. W. Sinclair four we grain. We did. Oh, okay. The four grain. Grain to glass and beyond. Uh, Distillation is sixty percent hard. Yeah, thirty percent dark arts. That's kind of like the fuck with but, dark that's, arts. Well, that's, there's some witchery you know, what's the deal? in there. Y'all have it's like, like a cauldron. It's kind of satanic. satanic. That, that's the whiskey? four grain uh, c- concoction that they they pull out. Is this a uh, satanic bourbon going on? Who's the gay wizard on uh, on uh, Dumbledore. Dumbledore? Is this a Dumbledore? Why is so who's Dumbledore banging anyway? Why is it gonna be gay? Grindelwald, the bad guy, oh, Johnny st- Depp's character. <laughs> what? Be quiet! You're lying. No. He. Did you see the movie? You Are say you the saying word... Dumbledore's banging Johnny did Depp? Did you say the word banging? Who said the word banging? I don't I know did. if they showed penetration. Oh. Uh, well, you know, was there some simulated I stuff? Or I, don't, I haven't seen the movie. Were they I, I don't know. Thing? You're Wait. spoiling it for me. I uh, want to know who he's banging. I don't want you to tell no, me. It's, it's the, it's the no. uh, he has a relationship with the bad guy, Grindelwald. Uh, I don't know what they show or what they talk about. <laughs> so he's got some sort of uh, prison yard thing going on. I can't. I can't. I haven't seen the movie. I don't know. I can't do this. I'm out on any of this. Harry yeah, I'm out. Shit. I'm out too. I don't really care. Can we take a vote on if we move on to Lee? W. Sinclair. All right, so it's it's double pots to, uh, distilled. This yeah. one that we drank was not a uh, hundred proof. That's not a bottle of bond hundred proof. This we one had, was we had a single barrel. One hundred seven. Was it single? Or was it seven point seven? It was potent. Yes, it was, it was. A store pick, and, and it was, it was very good. tasty. I don't know what store pick it was though. Was total wine. Total was wine. It total wine? Yeah. Hold on. Total Pump wine. the brakes. No, I don't think it was total wine. I think it was Liquor King. What's yeah, it? it was Liquor King. Yeah, because it wasn't total wine. It was definitely liquor. I would have noticed total wine. Really? Yeah, it's got a big tag on it because Liquor King just puts a sticker yeah. on it. I think. Nice. Yeah. Look at you yeah. guys. Total We're becoming got experts. The big sticker. Yeah. True experts. Pick. I'm gonna get a barrel someday. Why? That'd be uh, really cool. Yeah. Why do we yeah. not have any bourbon on the table? Uh, Paul's got some. a. Whoa! What, what's going on? 
Paul requested bourbon. Well, we don't have any bourbon on the table, I noticed. Well, why don't you get your deaf ass over there and go pick one up? There's no bourbon deaf here. I'm actually ass. drinking Michter's Our, American whoa. whiskey. Whoa. So he <laughs> Wait, just was. went into the special needs category. He did, and he walked no, out there. you did. What are you talking about? You just slandered a hearing impaired person. How? Oh, hold on, no. it can't be slandered. You it, said deaf that's an oxymoron. You can't say both. <laughs> you said, "Why don't you get isn't your that, deaf ass?" Like a double negative. I heard know? deaf ass. Get your look, deaf ass up. Look at you guys. Yeah. You guys are more woke than you think you are. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah. I like to have fun with it. Shit, I'm so. He deaf. does. He does. I am hearing impaired. Yeah. yeah. I'm is. totally deaf. What'd you know, you the I, only reason I can hear I what you're been. saying is because I have headphones. I'm sorry. What'd you say? Uh, exactly. <laughs> we we envisioned Paul like in the '80s when he had the large hearing aids. You know how the 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 Cloud oh, City from so Star Wars. Yeah. You watch Star large Wars, right? I did. Yeah. What's that mean? I've seen Empire Strikes aids. Back or the, Who's the that? Cloud Uncle City. Nearest? Oh, I love Uncle Nearest. Okay, so Uncle Nearest was the uh, uh, he was a guy. He wasn't anything. He was a guy that worked at Jack Daniels. <laughs> So yes. the people that started Uncle Nearest, they started Uncle Nearest Whiskey. It's about 30 miles north of where Jack Daniels is. And he Pass along, that. absolutely. And, uh, anyway, Keep talking, so, but I'm going to make So the here. investors right of there. Uncle Nearest, they want to be bought <laughs> there's, there's out Paul in the <laughs> by Jack Daniels. Which makes sense that Jack Daniels would buy a successful whiskey called Uncle Nearest, being Uncle Nearest actually worked at Jack Daniels. And, and... It's good whiskey, too. Yeah, he he's very good. He... um it's solid. Jack Daniels had huge respect for that guy, too. Yeah, well, Jack Daniels died from kicking a safe. So, there's that. You ever see that story? I've been, I've been to the... <laughs> yeah, they didn't tell that story. He got mad he couldn't open the safe, and he kicked it. And he broke his toe, oh. which got infected, which led to him amputating Gangrene. his foot, oh, this is amputating what, back in the his 1800s knee, or something. Yes. amputating his yes. leg, and he died. Do they cleave him in half? So it was interesting, but, but back to the story of the, of the, of the black dude. On... Yeah, the black guy. He was the only black guy that worked at the distillery. And? Like, literally, out of any picture that was there. Thank you. You could spot him That's because was he was the say. only he, black guy. He was in every picture. Which, but he was free. It, which by itself was a massive thing back then. Oh, yeah. It which means totally, it, showed, it showed a tremendous respect for this dude. Totally not I love normal. It. I love and, it. Yeah, I love Uncle it. Nearest was, well, was, which is more crazy that uh, a whiskey was started outside of the Jack Daniels family. Yes. Which, Out of respect. Which, and then here you go. So, okay, so, okay, so think about this, right? So, there was a black guy that was referred to as Uncle Nearest that worked at Jack Daniels, right? right. And we all know the Jack Daniels story and all the stuff goes down. Now, outside people started a whiskey named after this guy. Yeah. And he's they not have involved nothing in it? to do with Jack Daniels. But did the it people, have to? But it, but it had to do with him. No, the people that started this whiskey have nothing to do. Oh, even the dude had nothing. But to they do. knew they of the nothing. name to try to capitalize on the name. They want to sell it to Jack Daniels is what they want to do. Oh well. Well, I mean, why not? So it was a uh, wow. Hey, we're gonna start a whiskey. We're gonna put this thirty the distillery thirty miles north of Jack Daniel. There's only two major distilleries in Tennessee anyway. Dickel right? and Jack Daniels. Right? Yeah, Dickel and Jack Daniels. So now you're gonna put they it thirty miles north of Lynchburg, Tennessee, which basically they, so is shit. Nothing out there. there. I mean, even Chattanooga. at Lynchburg, there's they, nothing it's there. A dry County and all that bullshit. Yeah, that that shocked God, me. Fucking stupid. I know. Now we they... went on the tour and we were like so excited to drink Jack Daniels, and they were like, "Hey, you can't." No, you can now. But then, so Jack Daniels is actually charging fifty percent more for liquor bought on site. Oh, now that on. they got it changed to a wet count, it's bullshit. It's such a tourist trap. It's total garbage. The only reason I went there is because that's what my wife drinks. I literally took a giant detour to Kentucky to make my wife happy, which is fine. But this Uncle Near shit. It's good. And it's good whiskey. It's good whiskey. It's not bourbon, but it's, it's whiskey. whiskey. It's good. It's premium but, uh, whiskey. 
uh, Jack well, Daniels needs it? to buy it because I know people that have invested in that. Jack Daniels is technically a bourbon, but they don't market it as no, a bourbon. No, they don't want to be a bourbon. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, it, it is a bourbon. Are, but they are technically a bourbon. They yeah. are technically a bourbon. They're not but technically a bourbon. Yes, yeah, they, they are. are. The, the, first, the all first the rule of bourbon is. is you have to want to be a bourbon. Well, oh, wow. okay. Come on. Get they the don't say that here. in the list. Yeah. I mean, they, but you they, have to they be meet. A bourbon. Let me put. Let me it's say like it this way. It, they that, meet all the only requirements if you're of being they a bourbon. They do meet the requirements yes, to they put do. bourbon on the label, but they choose not to because which, they're a Tennessee whiskey, right? But and that's I, I their respect marketing that. Bit. I I'm respect okay with that. that. I'm totally okay with but that. But you know, a lot of times when people say they're a whiskey, and, and Tennessee and they, whiskey, well, and then you think to yourself, okay, are they saying they're a whiskey because they don't meet the requirements of a bourbon, right? So yes, no, they meet the requirements. They do. Yeah, they just don't want to be. Well, the I mean, requirements. and I don't blame them, right? If Why would you want to be a bird? They want to differentiate themselves. Well, here's the thing: if you're if you're a Tennessee and you've been doing this as long as Fuck yeah, uh, yeah, if you've been doing this as Fuck long yeah. as Kentucky has, no. Why would you be like, I'm not going to cater to your little. Your bourbon. How long has Jack Daniels been doing? I don't think they're as old as, as uh, bourbon. Uh, they've been around a long pretty time. Much well, Elijah started. Craig is supposedly the father of bourbon, right? Okay, so okay. that's that was, one story. That yeah. was way right. That yeah, he burnt what, the fish barrels because right. of the well, that like was fish. back in when the Saxons invaded the the. That was the three. That was twelve oh six. That was the three. You guys ever see the documentary <laughs> Neat? <laughs> the what? Did you see the documentary Neat on Hulu? Mm-mm. Meet? With uh, Freddie Freddie Johnson, Freddie Mercury. Fre- uh, no, neat. not Freddie Mercury. <laughs> neat. You see the documentary. Hold on, there's we're a, all over the a, place right now. <laughs> neat, and neat and Freddie Mercury. That's what I heard. There's a great documentary on, on. I think it was on Hulu, and it's it's about bourbon, and it's with Freddie Johnson, which is who he's a, like third or fourth generation at Buffalo Trace, right? It's nice. So I hadn't seen the documentary when I went on a. But is it a, skewed towards? I went a on the barrel angle? tour because <laughs> it's a documentary. It's a documentary. Yeah. So. I went on the barrel <laughs> tour at Buffalo <laughs> Trace. Sorry, I got that. So that was the only the only tour that was available. We actually went up. Long story, but anyway, so Freddie Johnson was our tour guy. Okay, oh, and yeah. so we're Berlin. walking around, and the yeah, guy's like, he's like, "Oh my god, have you?" He goes, "You know who our tour guy?" I'm like, "No, I don't, I don't know." And he goes, he "Goes shit, he's the star of this documentary." No. I'm like, what documentary? He's like, it's called Neat and whatever. So I actually watched it when we got back. Nice. And uh, he's like, like third, the fourth shit. generation. He's the shit. I mean, he fucking knows, the right? Real like, deal. he grew up at Buffalo Trace, and it was. And really, he was the tour guide. Yeah, he was our tour guide. It so was, you wish you had known. Was the no, black guy the guy the told guy me like there? literally when we left the initial know, but, building. But you watched the documentary after, right? Buffalo well, Trace which is fine. Is, Him and our friends on Facebook now. You see that Taylor? <laughs> nice. Like yeah, a, I'm like, oh, nice. what's up, Freddie Johnson? <laughs> nice. But now it's not that big a deal because I realized that all this shit is bullshit anyway. What is? Who, what Freddie Johnson? Doing? All this bourbon shit. No. Uh, Come you know, on. Well, okay, so the whole It's a little Kentucky, bit of territorial stuff. The whole Kentucky magic is bullshit. But I have I had a I have a foolproof Garrison Brothers that is literally two years old, right? That is one of the best bourbons you've ever had, and it's cast drag, so it's like a like one hundred and twenty five proof, but right? It was amazing, right? Because meaning, we live meaning, in a hot weather environment, right? Uh, correct. So like yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that yeah. barrel's like this. Gets Crammed into that. Oh barrel. yeah, you know what I'm saying. I do. And they run those little 15 barrel. You yeah, know what we're talking yeah, about this. Yeah, the small ones. I've been those there. little 15 gallon barrels, which which is is good. That the, you know, that our 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 illustrious Congress got distracted with COVID and bullshit and whatever. Here's the problem: when they're not distracted by a major issue, they start making laws about other stuff. Because you know that's what they do, right? Like they make laws. They're supposed about to what? Doing. About what? It's like so, finish your there size. was there was a big push before COVID to require bourbon to be barreled in fifty-five gallon barrels. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay, not the little ones, and not the fifteen, twenty. Well, who was pushing that though? Just a bunch of dipshits. What lobbyists were pushing that? I don't know. The Kentucky. I bet the. 
Well, right. Bur- bourbon you know has lobbyists. You know how traction gets? You know, yeah, traction, I bet you, you know, like the way Austin. you were going with that was I bet you somehow Kentucky right. would have yeah. an influence of on Texas well, n- well, forcing just, that. The, the bourbon lobbyists like probably state, got to them. The state of Texas. It's like every time I hear about people, they want to make law. And I'm like, we need to stop these idiots from making law. Right. The more laws they make, the less freedom we have. I agree so with that. So stop fucking making laws. That's a general. You know what I'm that, oh, that's a general deal on the state it, level, on the city level, on the federal level. Let's let's let us work it out ourselves. I right? love that. You know, Absolutely. let's let's well, we can figure this out. We're humans. We're adults. We're we're grown. Yeah. We can figure this out. We don't need you in Austin or Washington or all these places to figure it out for us. Anyway, no, so there's no. Freddie Johnson right there. I love it. Yeah, so how many of those have you had? So the Buffalo Trace standard, I've we've got what two tankards out there. Yeah. Um they got the Pappies, the Blantons, the E. H. Taylor. I see the Blantons, I see the Blantons bottle. And then Stag. I've got a couple bottles. I got a I got a bottle of Stag, two thousand nineteen Stag. Yeah, I just picked up a bottle of E. H. Taylor. It should be here it should be here this weekend. You got a picture we got a bottle of what? E. H. Taylor, Colonel E. H. Taylor. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Is it the regular? The... It's the small batch. Okay, I have a small batch, and I have a single barrel. Well, the single barrel Sean was going to get. Ah, it's hard to get. And well, I was out in uh, in it was actually in Carson City, Nevada, and the place I went to had Blanton's. It had the single barrel, uh, E. H. Taylor, the small batch E. H. Taylor had a stag, it had Elmer T. Lee, it had a bunch of them. Wow. And I picked up the small batch, and I thought I was going to say single barrel. I, I thought the single barrel was ninety nine bucks. I was just because it was marked up. That's not bad. And, and Sean said that he he wanted it, so I went back and it was like, and I it was it was way in the back. Of course, you couldn't see it was behind the counter. It was one ninety nine. It was two hundred bucks oh. instead of ninety nine. I was like, son of a bitch. Uh, I'm going to scratch that. I'm not going to. Yeah, that. I wouldn't. Out. I wouldn't. Nah, it's too much. It's too much. Yeah. So I scratched. I was like, I'm not doing it. <laughs> But uh, and then he wouldn't even tell me the price of the Weller uh, calf strength. Why he wouldn't even tell you? He wouldn't even tell me. He goes, he goes, it's too high. And he owned the store. It was the owner of the store. I'm like, fuck you. I, you tell me what the price is. He goes, Maybe it's I, way high because I was I well, like six hundred bucks. Well, I bulked it to two hundred. Right? And I was like, I was like, I was, there's no oh, way I'm paying. Well, that. that's what you. Yeah, that's where you screwed up. And still, you should have said. Uh, I got money to spend here, bro. <laughs> so is it eight ninety nine? Oh, it's not that much, sir. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then we're in the ballpark. Yeah. All right. Give well, me this Jim Beam. <laughs> 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 but the right. but the um, the special reserve. So we have two tankards out there of the special reserve. The big Weller with the green label. We yeah. pay, I paid forty bucks for the one point seven five. And they're worth one million. They wanted ninety nine dollars for the seven fifty. Wow. Whoa. So <sighs> cha ching. That that's so that's the seven fifty for ninety or hundred bucks. Has that ever been opened? What the, out here? Yeah. We have a partial we have a full one that's never been opened. Good. Put that in the safe. And bury it in the backyard. No. In the backyard, bury it. Bury it. All right, I'll do it. Bury it with all the cash. And they, they had some good ones, but that was the only store that had that allocated stuff. Yeah. Every one that I went into didn't have shit. And they it was e- just a regular. They had an Eagle you know, Rare. Here you go. They had an Eagle Rare for 100 bucks. That's a $30 bottle at MSRP. So, um, yeah. like, I'm kind of curious, like, if you were, that, that it's not on right now. Well, um, so DeSantis, I'm kind of curious. We we're talking about a little bit about the, the bourbon and, and purchasing it. In different counties and stuff like that. Well, DeSantis is, uh, they're basically stripping um, the powers of Disney. And I'm kind of curious <laughs> if, does Disney, Disney have, does Disney it's have not their. Powers. It's not the powers. Oh, no, the yeah. They're, they're, they're no, stripping away their governmental. No, no, no. Uh, it's a special district. Okay, so. so look, well, in 1955. Okay, but. They, but Dis- or Florida law is based on Spanish law. Okay, so Texas law is based on Mexican law, which is very similar to Spanish law, right? So Florida and Texas have a very similar legal structure in our property rights. That makes sense? It, it like makes in Louisiana, total sense. Yep. it's French, and that's why all the counties are parishes. 
right? Yeah. So, kind of so like Texas, lost cleanness to Irving. Texas, no, well, not quite, but Texas and 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 Florida are very similar. Tex- uh, Disney has a special district, which is basically its own city. They govern themselves. They govern themselves. Well, it's not that they govern themselves, but it's it's a city where they provide their own services. Okay. So, like, you could do a special district in Texas. That's what most of these the rural communities go to now. Like like Don Huffines. I don't know what you feel about Don Huffines, but Don Huffines, developer-wise, total piece of shit. So, what he does is he develops these 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 housing projects in rural areas and he defines them as a, a special district so what you do is you put a trailer on a thousand acres of land and you have the person living in the trailer votes to to designate a special district okay once it's designated a special district by the majority of residents which is the one guy living in the trailer now you can issue bonds for whatever. Now, it's in, in Florida, it's very similar to Texas because so uh, a, a rural community can issue bonds for ambulance service, okay? They can issue bonds for water. They can issue bonds for this. So Disney has a special district in Florida uh, that spans two different counties and they, it's not that they govern themselves, but they provide their own services. They provide their own police. They provide their own fire. They provide their own water, sewer, everything. And court systems. Yeah, what? And code enforcement. And code enforcement. Sharia right, law. Yeah. Well, I mean, the county still has law, the yes. ultimate. Your own Sharia law court. But courts. counties aren't it's really an Epcot. interested. <laughs> right. It, 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 I think it is in, well, it's in a certain part of Epcot. So now what we have is in Florida is a special case where a, the, the governing people of the state, the governing legislature, is pushing back against a corporation who doesn't agree with them, which is totally fucked. By the way, there are there are some laws that are against that that you cannot go be a governor or a political office and, and do something. I don't want to say vindictive, but a, something detrimental to a, to a individual or corporation. There right. are laws out there that prevent that. And you should it already happened. They passed it. Well, they passed it. They did. Well, they did. That oh, the so, Florida. Yeah, they passed it. I mean, Disney's fucked. So well, no, well, they're, they're not, not fucked. fucked. They just they have to change. They have to change a few things. Well, they have Disney's to pay not taxes fucked down. at all. So Disney has about, and people don't even know. They estimate about two billion dollars worth of bonds. Okay. So what Disney does is they issue bonds to create infrastructure, and and they're heavily there, guys. So they can create roads, sewer, right. water, right? You know, whatever. Well, that's, why happened, that's why it happened back in the day because. It was a yeah. swamp. Yeah, it was and undeveloped Disney, land. Disney total paid shit for everything to develop it. So Disney developed it, and then so what they do is they issue bonds. There's only 54 people that live on Disney property, and those people have to pay taxes and whatever under this stuff regulation. So Disney pays like I don't remember what it was. I think it's like 180 million dollars a year in bond payments towards these bonds. Right, because Disney obviously want these bonds paid, right? <laughs> you know, it's their infrastructure, like it's their whole setup, it's their whole system. The problem with taking away the special district is now these bonds that are due, like these are money owed, are spread to two counties because Disney is in two different counties, right? And now you have the counties have to take over and provide the services for firefighters. Sewer, you know, this, that, the right. streets go bad, the soundings have to do it. Now Disney doesn't do it. Right. And you have all this shit. And then you also have this deal where where Disney was making overpayments to the bonds into the tune of like almost two hundred million dollars a year. Right? Like they were paying towards these bonds. Right. 
they're not required to do that anymore. And they may choose to. Well, I also, well, again, I'm not well, well versed in this, but they're going to have to pay taxes now, right? Well, of course they'll pay Property taxes, taxes but and all that But they pay taxes stuff. already. But do they? It's the same it's Via the, same the thing. bonds. Via the bonds. Well, right. Yeah, but I think I think it's going to be more now because they're going to have no, to pay the for, taxes. For Disney, it'll be about $200 million less because Disney was overpaying the bonds. Yeah, and but I'm not sure DeSantis, not. I mean, and I'm not well versed either, but I'm not sure DeSantis would do this if it didn't really, if it didn't like really bite, yeah, what was, really uh, hurt. Do you, do you really believe that DeSantis did it simply for the fact that uh, Disney stepped up and was like, hey, oh, absolutely. Yeah, we, retaliation. we want to call gay people gay in the yeah, fourth It was retaliation for Disney taking Correct. a woke stand. It was retaliation and 100%. I don't care what the issue is. When, when elected officials. Take a stand and punish a corporation. Yeah, I hear you. For but whatever then again, but for then their it, fucking hold freedom on, but then of again, speech. When Disney, by when the Disney way. is taking advantage of a tax break or taking advantage of a of a certain uh, I think uh, you know le- legislative it, or or bureaucratic, no, it have never bureaucratic been set up that way. advantage, then fuck them. I think what's going to happen you is, know what I'm is these two counties are going to be overloaded by two billion dollars in bonds. Okay, two. Billion dollars in bonds. Sure. Like most people have to say, most people have to say about one point seven billion, whatever. Two billion dollars in bonds, and you're going to dump this on the county, right? Right, or two counties, and and then you're going to be like, all right, counties, bring on the firefighters. What? Well, I read an article. You better have that. a hiring fair because we I, need I, fire support. Right. You know I, what I'm saying? I read like, an article that, 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 that tax burden is not going to go onto those counties. Hmm? Um, they they they've. There, there's something like again. I'm not well versed, but I just read a headline that they're not going to be responsible for all those taxes, like the 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 media is saying they will. Well, they'll they'll. I mean, the counties are going to be responsible for the bonds. They say the people will not be responsible for increased taxes. The good news right? is there's not that many people in either county. Like these aren't major metropolis pilots. You know what I'm saying? So I actually I have a solution. We're going to find out. In Any about a New year, Yorker. Any New Yorker or Californian that moves to California uh, to Florida has to pay for whatever Disney. Now. I don't think that works. That's Why not, not? How it works. Why not? That should no, be yeah, that's because, fair, isn't it? See, because now you're because we have a bunch now of New you're Yorkers. Racist. Now you're now you're special well, hold on. You're special racist. interest selecting. I know, I know. I'm, I'm kidding. And wait till the other hear, party's he, in charge. But did and you then hear DeSantis? He was like, he was right? voicing concern about the Californians and New Yorkers that are moving to Florida and bringing their votes with them. Just what like the Texas. fuck do they think? Just moved like to Texas. Just like Texas, right? <laughs> you said the same thing yeah. about, I, you know, don't bring your Californian, you know, Texas. blue. 25% Cubans, 25% Jews. But the, the, reality, the, right. the reality of it is, is that uh, even though the reality of it is, is that it should have never been that way from the get-go. No. It, 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 regardless it, whose laws it was based on. Well, Disney never should have come out and said no, we are going to correct to actively they should try to overturn a time ago. your bill. Corporate a California company should not have come to Florida and says we're going to try to overturn your <laughs> Absolutely. bill. Absolutely, corporate Wait, America, corporate America should stay out correct. of politics. Hundred percent, they should be out. No, they shouldn't. Yes, yeah, they, they should. should. Fuck, they're the biggest contributor from politics. That, who do you think all the politics money comes well, from? Well, sure it is. Yeah, well, that's but that, that, shit. That only but it shouldn't. The Supreme the, Court the, the, actually the pockets ruled. of the politicians. It doesn't line the American the citizens. Well, the Supreme Court actually ruled that corporations are people. Remember that quote from Romney? I, uh, I do no, not. I remember that? I remember. I remember. Mitt Romney, Corporations the are people, and they should have a voice. The yeah, Supreme well, Court actually ruled that. And, 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 and we're in the shit system, but if you don't think the money controls politics, it does. 100%. you're fucking retarded. It does, 100%. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it does. Yeah. It's well, it 100% does, but I don't, think, I don't think it's right. Everything in this country is, to, but that's a capitalistic society, okay? So I love living in a capitalistic society. Right. I love it. Like, I am totally on board. <sighs> But, but do you think the, the Disney infrastructure was a capitalistic society? Hey, you know what? Look, here's that's 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 a problem. that's a kingdom. 
No, you know, they <laughs> had a special district. We have special districts all over North Texas. Like every Huffines development, um, you know, uh, all the shit up on 380. Drive down 380. All oh, the Jerry Jones Paloma shit. Creek and fucking that. Well, actually, the Jerry Jones shit is not special district. Really? All Isn't the that Blue weird? Star stuff? Which I don't know why he doesn't so take advantage of that. So what is that community in uh, like uh, north of, uh, yeah, Sylvania. Savannah. No, Savannah. Savannah. Yeah, Savannah. special district, Paloma what Creek. Is, that's a cool little uh, They're all there. It's Here's not. The deal. It is the fucking hood. So here, I don't think so. I think those little no. homes with no, 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 different no, no. colors. The they're total shitholes. Uh, <laughs> and here's the best thing. They are. They're they shitholes. Are. They're total shitholes. No, holes. they're shitholes because they're, why? They're, they're built to no standard. Because they had Cheech and Chong building those things out. They're county buildings. On an economy rate. So oh, they're total racist. shitholes. They're, they're, no. They're, there's, there's no building standards. There's no building inspections. There's no nothing because it's county land. Really? And you put one fuckhead on a trailer and you vote a special district and then you create bonds for the roads, sewer, water, trash, everything. And then Hold on. guess who so pays you're the bonds? All the homes built in the Savannah subdivisions yeah. and all that stuff. They're all shit. No they're code. Shit. No code. And no, look at their look no, at their they, taxes. They, they have permits and they have code. I was enforcement, gonna say, it has but to be they're code. subpar. No, they're they subpar. They have county permits. But look at their taxes and they have line items for everything, brother. Oh, so they get Dude, screwed I, on the I back have, end. So what happens when all those roads are shit and need to be replaced? Who's picking up the bill? The homeowners. Yeah. What happens when the water lines break and they need repairs? Who's picking up the bill? No the homeowners. Shit. Yeah. Dude, Hugh Coleman was a Denton County Commissioner and fought the special districts tooth and nail to the point where uh, the last time he won re-election, his opponent got two hundred, almost three hundred, two hundred fifty, almost three hundred thousand dollars in donations from developers. Oh, of course. And he won, and he lost the last time he ran because wow. he just got outpaced. I mean, right. right at right. some point, there's, money wins wow. elections. There, at some point, there's so much money that, and the developers hate him because they want the special district. Because this, with the special district. Now I don't have to build all the road. I don't have to put in the. Yeah, water yeah, no, no, no. I hear you. I can I hear pass you. that shit. Well, on so to everybody I, I, that buys well, out. I'll be honest. I had no idea. I this had no idea that shit goes on every Plus day. Plus, the, uh, the actual all day buildings long. themselves in the savannas. They're trash. They're absolutely Palomar trash. Creek. I have remodeled several mm-hmm. of those buildings in there, and they're absolute trash. I tell you what, like what, code wise, Providence what, what, Village, what, 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 like poorly, poorly the, built. Okay, so you've got you've got a twenty five, you got a, a, let's say a twenty five hundred square foot house, yeah. and the electrical distribution in the house is not, you know, twelve gauge. It's got fourteen gauge wire yeah. in there, as opposed to twelve gauge. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's all subpar. They're trash. Really? Absolutely, the breaker boxes aren't even six hundred volts. I think Prov- they're like. You know, four hundred volts or something like that. Providence it's Village, piece of shit, and you expect crazy. a family to live in that. Providence Village actually went into Aubrey, right? So, like the initial few phases were not in Aubrey, right? And then it started growing and growing into Aubrey, and so that's when they had the major vote to turn it into Paloma. Or what was it? Not Paloma Creek, as a uh, Providence Village, and so now it's the town of Providence Village. They don't have to deal with Aubrey anymore because right. they so the watering down land. the codes, watering down, making it cheap. It's trash. Making it cheap. Yeah, yeah. I know right? when, that, when that those and, were first built fifteen years ago or whatever. We drive by because we had some friends up in Arbor. We drive by. I was like, "Oh, those are uh, nice. Those, those are nice. cheap homes. They look cute. Yeah, brand new, nice and, and like colorful. Yeah. Right? They're really Very colorful. colorful. Yeah. The All fuck, these different man. colors and oh, yeah. a bunch of lakes. My first wife yeah, I was and like, I this actually is nice. we nice. wanted to buy a house there. Do you sell? I a remember bunch? it was ninety two thousand dollars. <laughs> by the way, wish I'd have bought that shit. <laughs> no, right? No shit. I don't give a shit. How? You, you, well, know, you know what? Fox so, and Jacob's so, house so, are so shit too. So that's a great you know question. What's funny, my Who brother. Cares? Are their home values like my brother you know, lives home in values Providence are going Village. fucking crazy right oh, now? Oh, it's crazy. So is it going it's crazy insane. there too? It's, well, I mean, it everybody is. is scaled up. So yeah, when you're in the center of the city, the 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 home values are, you know, super absolutely. Crazy. And as you go out, it's less, but. Yeah, I'm, no, they've they've appreciated 
Meaning, far beyond meaning what you they can like have. criticize all you want about code and this and that. I agree. But if I you agree. had bought early, I mean, you. Boom. But here's the deal. So go to go to Carrollton, Plano, Frisco, uh, uh, Allen. Um, oh yeah, wherever it, Fox and Jacobs built. Yeah. When when I was 16 years old, my mom bought a house in Carrollton, and it was a Fox and Jacobs house. Fox and Jacobs, and she bought it for ninety eight thousand dollars. Holy and shit! And it was a, I a mean, dump. total fucking piece of shit. Total dump. Not a dump. Oh, it was a nice house. I got you. I got you. I got you. It was a nice neighborhood at the time, but it's but, a total piece of shit. I mean, yes. it's a total like those houses built in they the were 70s, designed to live to last They didn't long. care. They didn't do anything. Fox Get it Jacobs up as fast as possible. the cheap house, and they're still there. They're still there. And what's it worth now? And you know what? Oh Jesus! I sold it for two hundred ten over ten years ago. I Jesus probably worth. Three hundred fifty thousand dollars right now, if not four hundred thousand. Oh, crazy numbers are being it's thrown stupid. out right now. Oh, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred thousand dollars are being thrown around up. right now. House appreciation. The house next to me sold for five hundred fifty thousand dollars. California yeah. numbers are being it's thrown stupid. around right now, guys. It's ridiculous. Five, it's... six, seven hundred thousand dollars is being thrown around. I got divorced. I rented an apartment. I rented a house. I bought this house over my, my like literally five minutes from here. And uh, it was two hundred fifteen thousand dollars, right. and I had a pool. And the only reason I bought it is because oh, I shit. had a pool. <laughs> you know, and I was like, "That's what yeah. you live in now." Yeah, yeah. And it's worth what? Oh, five seventy, oh, five eighty, six, no, six hundred. That much. I mean, I mean, my guy down the street sold for four fifteen with no pool. It's getting there quick. I'm telling you. Well, I tell we're, you, we're what. having astronomical, astronomical. Home value. It's going to be a weird deal because the big bubble. It, well, it's going to crash. But why is it a bubble? Yeah, right. It's because the and why more would it taxes. crash? Fucking so, New Yorkers and Californians. No, so here's the deal. So everybody talks to me about crash. Everybody talks to me about bubble. And so honestly, the major problem is investors. Okay. Yeah, and not just Airbnb. the asshole that bought a couple of rental properties. You know, whatever. Yeah. The biggest problem is I have sold houses um, over the last five years to companies that are literally trying to buy 25,000 houses in the area. Oh, good Lord. 25,000 to, to houses. To rent them all? To rent out. Yeah. yeah. Airbnb, right? Because the rents are strong. So when you have these Shit. dickheads coming in here and buying up everything, and now the Dallas City Council is talking about rental zones, and they're trying to figure it out, and I'm like, that's what we need. They're trying to shut government. it down. We well, don't need so, government well, to fix it. Like, even in our HOA, they're trying to limit the amount Bingo. of uh, rental properties. HOAs, right? Yeah. HOAs are well, stepping up. Well, mine just passed HOAs that. HOAs says, oh, well, we need right. to limit the rentals. They're trying to limit the amount of rental properties within a community. And, right. and, and, and should they? I think they should. I, I think they should too, because actually, you know, if if you don't believe in the free market, then yeah, no, you no, should no, that's no, it's not the free market. It, no, it's a that's good a point. It's it a good point. point. I'll back them on this one. That's a good point. Look. No, but look, the homeowners there want their properties to maintain the integrity and value. Of, I agree. Uh, so it can those. Communities maintain the integrity and value and if you've got a, a bunch point, of uh, renters in the in the village. Yep. And no, you cannot. And look so, at all the look at all the other rules about HOA. Do you, how do you support property right and tell people they can't rent their property out? You know what? That is difficult. It's totally that difficult. is difficult. That's it's where, but that's where the strong arm of an HOA board comes in. Yeah, but so, remember, yeah. remember what the right. purpose of an HOA is, right? They want everybody's Protect house, the integrity, oh, yes, and value. everybody's. Uh, the neighborhood should look good. The yard should look manicured. I don't People live, need to be taking care of their shit. I don't live in uh, nobody, an HOA. No, I know, right? But nobody. Uh, so I, in my last neighborhood, somebody was a uh, what do you call it? Well, a shortwave radio guy. Am oh, I and they had the big fucking oh, antenna. Oh, big fucking antenna. Oh, we yeah. said, bro, I'm sorry you put it up, but you got to take it down. Ah, uh, yeah. Right? And, and, uh, and it was because that's unsightly. You got to you And, he, and he, tried, he made this big push. He's like, but I'm good for the community. I can I'm tell you. I'm a radio operator. I'm a, I can tell you if, if storms are coming, I can tell you this. And we're like. Yeah. And when the zombie felt, apocalypse happened. And we felt you bad. You want that guy. I felt so bad for the guy, but I was on the board. And I was like, bro. It doesn't matter. You can't have that fucking you thing. You should up have there. read the rules, right? And the bylaw said you can't do that. You can't and do so that. I'm with Sean. Like, no, it, no you I agree. Can't. Here's but, the thing. Here's the thing. 
I why, agree. Why should a neighbor, why should like old, like, let's say we've got two, an elderly couple over here and a young couple with young little tiny kids over here and the house in the middle the is shiak. renting every weekend mm-hmm. and they're partying mm-hmm. and, and thump, 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 thump. Mm, mm, <laughs> Good right, Paul. Every Good weekend. Paul. The ha, 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 ha. And they're throwing up in the front yard. Yeah. And they're, I'm you in. know, they're right? shitting the bed. Yeah. They're shitting, shitting the on bed. the bed. And they're doing all the, all the, all the things Ray, that they right? do in, 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 in his house. Now it's a party. In Sean's house. Seriously, why should they put. Well, they, they pay their dues to the HOA. I they, agree. They should have a, 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 well, a neighborhood that's quiet. And most most cities have noise noise ordinances. Right. And they have and a lot whatever. of ordinances in, in H in community in HOA communities Frisco have a lot has, of ordinances too. They've got nuisance. firework ordinances. Frisco has way too many. <laughs> yeah, but a lot of people ignore that. <laughs> well, you know, well, Sean uh, ignores that. Well, you know what? So, I didn't ignore it. The yeah, people around me, Your my children. friends that came over, abused oh, my property. Excuse me, oh, you're up there lighting go. those things. Yeah, yeah. Sean Here was up go. there lighting the. Yeah. Uh, Dude, your not son came over your bomb. and yep. blew and freaking not set to off a YouTube your children, <laughs> the children of both of you. Which, by the Jeff, way, it was you a, correct me if I'm wrong. Was it your son that brought over the bomb? It that, was. It was Stephen who brought the uh, nuclear bomb over. Yes. Dude, wow. this he he set off this firework that. Was no, premature. So you're saying fired was, off premature. Uh, so there was radioactive it, poisoning. It, it was bad. Dude, this one went off. It was so loud and it fired off Ooh, nice. so premature. It was like a hundred foot over the house oh, and yeah. it set off every car alarm at a quarter mile. It was like Sick. a full size. My sister in law who lives across the street was like, she she knew it was me. <laughs> she was awesome. like, what the fuck? <laughs> I love it, man. We, had three <laughs> we should be able to fire off fireworks. We had three right? cops. We had Come three on. cops sitting outside the house. They did. Uh, that yeah. cops three didn't cops. sit up. They were like up and down the street, like catching people and leaving our house, like hoping to get them for no, they're you just, know. They're just hanging driving. out. They're just hanging out, knocking on the door, going, "Hey, we're still here. Still here. <laughs> Light off another one because uh, hey, hey, do you have any water? So close. Yeah, they're not. So they're close. ringing the doorbell. Hey, do you have any water? We're gonna be here all night. I used to go to a buddy so, mine, a buddy of mine's house on Fourth of July every year, and and there was a guy that came and he set up fireworks and smoke bombs and all this shit, and crazy. no cops ever showed up. Oh, no, no, no. nothing. We had really? three. But three. Just just get points. Okay, we, we well, had first the Frisco off, SWAT team outside my house. <laughs> I was going to say, first off, <laughs> first off, he's already on their radar. Sean's yeah. on their radar. Uh, yeah, if there's a no fly zone, uh, yeah, there's no, a, I'm on that there's, list. There's absolutely a no fly zone for you. I'm actually friends with the Frisco police chief. Oh. Uh, he gives oh. me. Because you name, absolutely are you name dropping? Me. You <laughs> give me no, no, no benefits at all. Oh. At all. I, really? Every year, except for he's my got birthday, very soft hands. Every year for my birthday, I'm like, I'm like, uh, can I get my uh, get out of jail free card? And he's like, yeah, no. <laughs> but right. you try anyway. Is that like every on year. your way to the massage parlor? I tried this morning. Shit, I saw him this morning. I was like, hey, what's up? Can I get that? Well, hold out? on. What are you trying to get a get out of free? Yeah, because I mean yeah, that yeah, could go yeah, anywhere. I'm just saying, that gives like, you free I don't know like, if I drink like, hey, too much. I see Nancy oh, Pelosi. Oh, pop, pop, shut up. If on the very rare occurrence that yes. I drink one percent over the legal limit, ten percent, you mean? <laughs> that I could get a uh, free pass. A free pass on that one percent. You know what's funny? Come on, not now. funny, not funny. But like small towns where everybody knows each other. Like when I say small towns, small towns, small town. Small towns, right. like where there's one cop or two cops, yeah, a little bit, and then time. and then and Billy, Billy like leaves Frankie's house and he's swerving around, and the cop pulls him over and he's like, "Hey, Billy, Frankie, stop doing yeah, that." Yeah, he's like, "Billy, what are you doing?" He's uh, like, "I'm sorry, I was at Frankie's house. Oh, good, good, he and I were good, watching good, the good. basketball game." Yeah, I, but I, Billy, why is your pants down? Oh, shut up. Oh. Anyway, the point is, he's like, and he says, "But well, hold on," the cop says. Again. The cop says, <laughs> the cop Billy, says. Billy, you need to go home. 
Yeah, I gotta go home. Go yeah, home. I mean, so he follows try. him no, home. No, he follows him home, and he home. and he makes sure he goes to bed. And his wife Julie says, "Sorry, no, oh, no reference. Let's, let's no, do. his wife Hannah says, Hannah. thank <laughs> you for bringing I, I, I Billy get, home.' I get what you're saying, but the, the, that, but that, the we don't live in that world anymore. anymore. We don't live it in looked, that world no, anymore. The, the reality is, two thousand person. This is we do, but I'm telling you, small town America. The police just like that. It's just small town America. We have a quarter million people that live here. I hate that. There are there are Quarter folks out there. There there are law enforcement folks out there right now. They don't see gray. It's black or white. And the reason why okay. is it has to, everything to do with the woke folk. You know, there was no, a time. No, it's not a woke folk. Thing. Man, I, think, no, I don't think no, it's a no, woke no, folk. No, no, I disagree with you on this one. Okay. It's not no, a woke no, no, folk. No, no. Thing. I I think that it's a microcosm of the growth of the no, woke no, no. folk. Yes. No, 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 no. No, you know, it's just, here, I'm, no, here's not the deal. woke. I'm I'm disagree. So Sorry. I literally, I literally heard this this morning from the police chief of Frisco. Oh, that's the second name job you did. Oh, no, it's the same guy. I'm, no, I'm not trying to. I'm made them, trying to. He didn't like, take. Whoa! Did you fall asleep over there? Yeah. Little you hit your throat. head on the soundboard. And the. Uh, Are you okay? Is everything all right? The wow, producer, we lost was, signal and everything. Yeah, we lost the signal. Oh, no, he's back. The we guy. Lost, that, oh, we lost okay. Bernard yeah. Shaw. Hey, why don't you show us something Bernard relevant Shaw. to the conversation? <laughs> <laughs> I'm being such a dick, right? We're all being such dicks. No, we're laughing because they see Bernard. <laughs> he Shaw. fell over. He fell asleep. Uh, did you really? He did. No, he fell asleep. He fucking fell asleep. Look, Brian. Look, we're 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 absolutely he totally fell asleep. stunned okay. on, on what you're saying. Yes. So the police chief that okay, you know very so, well. No, I, I don't. Okay, I'm not saying that. I'm kidding. So, but your your buddy. <laughs> police are coming to this area. Yes. Because uh, the community. And the community supports police. Of 100%. Of course. 100%. 100%. 100 A million percent. But. I think we should define Two them. years ago, police were coming in to this area because of jobs and growth and stuff. Okay. But today, they're coming in because. This community supports. They police. accept the police. They support and them. And that's oh. awesome. A million, we have percent, such a, a great percent. system going here. Yes. We have such a great appreciation. Appreciation for police, but which is fine. But, but you know, like Greg Abbott's always. <sighs> now go on. Uh oh. I, I mean, like I, I like Greg like Abbott. Guy. No, well, you, Do know, you like him? He had a tree fall on him. He's got no legs. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Look, everyone's got an opinion. He could wheel himself off that cliff. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Look, I mean, there's there's a I lot mean, of there's a lot of folks I'm that have saying, mixed feelings about I Greg do. Abbott. And, and they, look, they do. They do. Without they do. without <laughs> getting well, into that, that well, Greg no. Abbott can sit here and say we will have no mask mandates. Except, well, I yeah, mean, but we but, had but the now, now it's, that now you it's fucking Gre put. But yeah. now it's Greg Abbott or Beto. I'll take Greg Abbott. Oh, 100%. well, so that's the thing, right? Percent. So now you have you now you have the question. Oh boy, right? Like, I'm not voting for Beto. Where are you going, Brian? That's just not Whoa. happening, Brian. No, I'm just don't saying. Don't say Beto. That's You're the not question. taking my horse. If you this say Beto where, forever, this we're going to strangle you. Goes. So, 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 Beto, right? Like, Beta cuck. Beto, is Beto, that what you call So Beto, Beto. Beto said he <laughs> wanted Beto. to take everybody's gun. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's where Remember shit that? hit the Oh, fan. yeah, take my AR. Remember the whole thing? <laughs> take my AR, uh, mother really? He said his wife's shit, too. So now you're uh, stuck with a fucking guy in a wheelchair who... Wait a second. Who's who's what? Who's, who's What's passing wrong with money people off in a to I love people in wheelchairs. Dude, well, yeah. you know what? Look, I, I get what you're saying. And you know, Greg Abbott, Abbott is Greg he, Abbott. he basically Greg Abbott is the worst fucking He handed her like, I don't want to hear a free uh, no 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 Wait, disrespect. I didn't say that. I did. I why will. why don't you like Abbott? I don't like Abbott. Um I really like Greg Perry or, or Rick Perry. Can we get Rick Perry back? Rick Perry. Rick hold Perry. on, hold on. Why don't you no. like Greg Abbott? Uh, Greg Abbott, um You know what reason I don't like Greg Abbott? Are you struggling? It, it's it's yeah. because of his relationship no. and how he handled the ERCOT circumstance. Okay. 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 So everything I don't disagree with that one because yeah. I've you had know, some in, inside information in, on that in one. His, in, in the fact that he it took him so long, and it's still taking him so long, to control the south border. 
Forget no, what the fuck he's Biden. jumping on it. He's Forget jumping on it. what Biden is doing. He has the authority to do more. That's what I he's think... been doing. He's been talking okay, to okay, the okay. four governors right. of, of Mexico. I would say that the, the, I, the I say he's stepping up. It's a year and a half. Exaggerated. Exaggerated. Yeah, yeah. Look, the South border. We're at we're at twenty like thousand dollars. Twenty thousand is... folks a day coming across the border. That we know of, and you're blaming you're blaming Abbott for this. I, I'm I'm not. Uh, look, look. He's our goddamn governor. He's the president of Texas. No, yeah, but he doesn't. Do you understand the Constitution? Do you, that's I a don't federal think, uh, border. I don't think the, that is a federal border. Yeah, border patrol. There are. Yeah, that's federal. Uh, that is a hold on. That is a federal border. At some point, he said. Federal's not taking care of it. Okay, I have to. We so have, he sent National Guardsmen down there. We have federal laws that are already in place to support Abbott on what's going on. And they're not doing it. And they're not enforcing the current laws in place. That's right. So whose job is it to enforce the current laws? The federal government. The But the federal... Is it the federal government? Absolutely. But once, 100%. They, once they pass over that border and they start encroaching into city limits, Doesn't matter. it turns into a state... Well, doesn't matter. That border is a federal border. Wow. Now, I will say Abbott is stepping up, and, and they are not taking care of it. So he is sending National Guardsmen down there, and one just died, by the way, trying to yeah. save people. Drug dealers. Actually, no. Yeah, trying to save actually, drug dealers. No National Guard. It's weird. Like, I actually know a National Guard that has been deployed down to the border. Sorry. I, I really, well, one of the, that's one, all I had. Well, also one of the things is is Abbott is not the most powerful official in Texas. Abbott's a dipshit. There but are so more. Who, there are more is? powerful political people that are that have more power than the governor in Texas. Right. The the governor. The railroad. The railroad. I think the railroad. I think, the railroad, <laughs> I think, the, I think the, Rick Perry used to be the railroad commissioner. I think the railroad commissioner is, and I think the speaker of the house. Why Rick but Perry the, was but, perfect for the job. But guys, well, that's not I'm the not point. I'm not saying he but wasn't. Not, but, but, on. but as he governor, was literally he, he, perfect for the job. Abbott doesn't have the power that I think we all think he but has. But that's not. But, but that's has, also not he's the, the point. Face, he's but that's the also face, not the point. He's the face of Texas. Yeah. But he has to rely on a lot of other shit to happen. He does to pass his stuff. But, but that's look, also not the point. Hold on, Brian. 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 Dudes like us want to know exactly why. You, Abbott's a piece you, of because shit. You are, yeah, because you're you're clearly and look, we're not disagreeing with you, but you, <laughs> but you can't just say that. Okay, you, you got to come up with right. specifics. What's wrong with Abbott? What is wrong with Abbott? Just c- pick out a couple. Wait, like, I'm, okay, so he put me on the spot. I gotta do well, this stuff. Is it personality? Hey, okay, so, right, is right, it policy right. or Austin, personality? Hold on, hold Please on. pull up a Abbott uh, reasons why we don't want Abbott in office. Yeah. And let's let's pr- provide support so because he, so there he, are he, reasons. So here's the question: Is it is it personality or and policy? And it's very difficult. There's been a lot of good governors of Texas. Ann Richards, <laughs> George W. Bush. <laughs> Hey, Bush wasn't bad. <laughs> he was a great governor. That's the first one you went to. What Andrew, are you talking Andrew about? Richards. And then, Richard, and I'm, Richards. I'm just going to my adulthood governor. Oh, I right? get you. Like, I get well, you. Like when I was fucking an adult, right? And then, uh, um, I don't know. So the number one reason for it, Abbott is a misogynist and wants to take All away right. reproductive freedoms this? for women in Texas. Shut this is not Texas. anything that I said. Well, I, this is this is the progressive Texas. Well, I don't know. You're no, looking we up a website. We don't want to look Okay, hold on. So I let's think. stop looking. Please. He's racist Jesus. and homophobic. Brian, right? like, <laughs> why don't you like Abbott? Do you have you have do you have something because to back it up or not? Okay, so Abbott is a guy that gets off on whatever today's news is. Right? Like okay. so what has Abbott done that uh doesn't correlate to today's news? Well, that said, it could be said with DeSantis. Meaning he's going to jump to whatever the hot topic is. I don't is. give a shit about Florida's governor. Well, I know, but what governor is you not know what like that? What, what like, political person is not like that? Right. Like, no, 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 no. Respond to the immediate need. Yeah. What political person is not I, like that? I agree. Right, right, right. right, right I got right, you. Right. So, but, but Abbott is, 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 that's what he is. <sighs> Boy, well, Abbott could be, you know, he's been in bed with some, some pretty shitty people. He's terrible. Who? Who? He's horrible. I don't know. I'm just throwing some wings. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you you throwing a lifeline. So Abbott, you're throwing I'm, a lifeline. I'm, I'm just I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to 
give you the the benefit of the doubt and, and let's just let's so, figure this out because so, look, we're all wanting. So Abbott got crushed by a tree, right? Yeah. Well, what did he do to that tree? And then he <laughs> wanted a to reform. Did he call that tree a fact? We got to reform, right? Like we got to get to reform. Like we have to have this lawsuit reform, right? Like, well, because it impacted him, right? So he knew yeah, what he well, what his know, experience he got was. A big fucking tree raining on him. And All he right, got so a bunch look, of money. Let, let's 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 get oh this top. Right, let's get right, this off right. of you because we're going to be changing some subjects. Here I do in like a few the the, uh, the busing of the okay, illegals so, to Washington D.C. But we we do, do want we first of all look, Brian. I this do. has been an extreme treat for you to be here on the podcast. Yes, well, it is hundred percent. You know, you, you've had a lot of input, and we man, I've had a great time. It really is. Absolute fantastic time. And Man, we, we want to brush up on these details, too. though. And we don't want to leave you empty-handed either when it comes to being able to respond to some of these these questions about Abbott. Because we want to know about it. Because dudes like us are... We're dumb. We're, <laughs> we're dumb. We're ignorant. We're 100% yeah. ignorant. <laughs> yeah. Right? And we, we don't want to be that... We, yeah, we want to be that guy that goes... I, I can't I, imagine... I hate him, but I don't know why. I can't imagine anybody that would... Not agree with Abbott. Well, it depends. Abbott has a lot of stuff on his in his policy. Uh, he's got a lot of policies that I agree with. You know, so oh, yeah, when sure. you say you don't like Abbott, Dude. or or some people don't like Abbott, you know, you, you got to back that up a little bit. And let's let's just let's just move on a little bit because I know there's some stuff there because Ab there are a lot of people that don't like Abbott. And I, I think it's just unfair to throw this and put you on the spot like this. Yeah, this is a so, little bit. Okay, okay. especially yeah. in the yeah, second I half agree. of the I show. Agree. I would like. I would like to say, number one, it's total bullshit to wait to the end of the night. Yeah, it is. To oh, my put bad. me on the fucking yeah. spot. <laughs> well, this wasn't by design. <laughs> Some shit. I'm so here's what we do. This is Paul's fault. You like no, well, you will blame and Paul. I'm supposed so, to remember details and right. stuff. <laughs> so, no, Brian, no, no. You know I didn't know Brian, listen day. to this. Was listen there a day? This is what we do. He has a lisp. It's so kind of fucking shitty. I have. So, hold on, Brian, listen. I have a lisp. You have a lisp? I do. You have. You can't hear it. No, not really. A lot of people can't. It's because we provided a symbol. It's great. Yeah, I ha uh, see this fancy. Oh, okay. So here's what we do. He walks like, around the house. We invite it. guests, and we're like friendly in the beginning. Oh yeah. Like in the first podcast, we liquor them up. Second yeah. podcast, <laughs> we yeah. jump out like. Hold on, we blow them so up. We hammer them and at the up. very end of the podcast, we ask them. No. So why? Why do you? Oh, like what turn you like on you? Oh yeah. No. Like like why do you hate everybody? Oh man, you sound just like the guy from Batman, right? Have you guys seen that new Batman movie? Actually, I have. It was I, good. Uh, no, it's, it's not good. You never saw it. Oh, sorry. Uh, well, hold on. Have you seen it or not seen it? I have it. I was just. I have. No, I well, well, I, I've, I've seen been antagonistic. Brian, have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen it. It's three hours long. It is. It have is you, did long. You Are you kidding? It? It is, did you it watch it in the movie hours. theater? Stupid. The guy yeah, from in the movie theater. Hold on. Oh. The guy from Twilight. Yeah. yeah no, yeah, I did. Robert I kid. Pattinson. Three hours of that guy. Ridiculous. Yeah, well, he's you not know, all three hours over. Well, yes, he is. Well, it. Brian, did you like it? Dude. No. What no. was it on a scale You know what the 10? best part of the whole movie was? The closing? Was, uh, did Robert Pattinson the get nude? Uh, Batgirl? Uh, oh, Batgirl. She, she was kind of hot. No. Catwoman. <laughs> Catwoman. Dude, Who, like, who's uh, Bat, who's uh, Batgirl? That's a Zoe Kravitz. No, Lenny Kravitz kid. No, it's not Zoe Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz, Kravitz daughter. It's her name, no, Zoe Kravitz. It is Lenny not. Kravitz daughter is smoking hot, no, and is Zoe she's Kravitz. the best actor in the entire whole fucking series. Well, she does. She, Seriously. yeah, you know what? She does make the the show. Well, look, look, the show well, has a lot pretty. of uh, positive she's uh, attributes. Movie. She's literally the movie. She's a badass. Uh, and the I'll movie tell you too. what. Uh, shout out to Colin Farrell and, and him playing the Penguin. He looked. Nothing like him. The, oh, the transformation like him. that the that team took to to make him look like what he made what he is. Yeah, there is something right there. else, man. Really? The only thing that was kind of offsetting, which I don't look care so much, but our producer pointed it out, was that the, uh, the J James Gordon was now played by a black person. Yeah, I don't care about that. Who James I, Gordon? James Gordon's the police commissioner. The police police commissioner. He wasn't the commissioner in this. Oh right. So they're adding. Uh yeah no that's hey, not yeah, that's that's okay that's not atypical and, uh, and I don't give a shit I, I really don't but, but I do have a problem if they make James Bond a black woman so there is <laughs> one there is one point in I the told movie, them not going to do that there, by the way look there's one point in the movie that was woke that that why do we have in, to talk about 
the point that was because you know what when you're watching something that you're enjoying and all of a sudden uh that was a zoe kravitz turns around problem, and says you know right? those like, uh white privileged police <gasps> officers no that is ultimately the viewer's problem yeah it's an acting thing the viewer's like oh my god I but it's, can't it's believe also the power of but a gesture but it didn't need to be oh in there my it did god. not need to be in there it didn't yeah. need to be but in who there who cares well, well i do oh, lots this of is the problem with woke or not woke or all this no, bullshit it that's going on in society like nobody fucking cares. Nobody but we do does. Care. You didn't care to a certain point, and then suddenly you did care. Look, here's because the it's thing. over the top. Now. True I, story. I think white privilege is. Oh my god, white privilege. There's nothing. There's like literally no such thing. Well, I well, agree. We, we all agree. We all agree. That. Yeah, that's we my point. Agree we're in that, agreement. We're we're agree with that. The, the, but the, it's but there's no reason for them to say in the movie. Well, who cares? Well, I did. Why? Because I was, I was. Who gives a shit? I kind of. I saw the same movie. I was like, and I just want to watch. I never literally gave a shit what and, they were saying. Well, I really, know. I literally, I literally saw the exact same scene you did, and I never. I think that's a valid point. Why anything. does it bother us? Well, you know what? You know, Fuck them. You can I think that's a valid question. It, Why does it bother and us? Had I thought that, but I was just I'd like, been like uh, I did, you know them. why? You know why? No. Because I don't want to be when I go to a movie, uh, I don't want to be reminded uh, of what's outside the movie that's theater. That's the problem. We are in a. I want to go to a movie. Safety dome. That yeah, I want to be in my safety dome. You want to be in your safety dome. That I <laughs> safety wanted dome. to be. But you're right, Brian. I hear a wonderful. What is it about it that bothers hold on, us? Hold on, hold on. We gotta turn it on ourselves. That's what it is. Hey guys, I hear a wonderful, sweet music. Well, shut the fuck up. Sweet, sweet really? music. Done? I think we are. I yeah, it's ten thirty. Holy shit, that went quick. Man, that went quick. That's because we're passionate and we said a lot of things that were fun. That was a great discussion, differing slightly point of view. Yes, but you know I think it was awesome. I it was enjoyed awesome. The shit out of it. I think this is good. Ryan, this is a good. Enjoyed the shit out of it. Ryan, thank you. A special shout out to you. All right. That was great. Yeah. It's know. Dudes Like Us. Dudes Like Us. I'm Paul. I'm Jeff. Music. And I'm Sean. And we got guest stars. And we got Brian. Say your name. Say your name, sir. Say your name. Say your say name. Say your name. Say your name. Right. Okay. We got, we got Brian here with out. us. He's out there. All right. We're out. Good night, guys. It's Tuesday. It's, it's uh, April 26th. Next time's going to be May. Fuck. You're old. We're going to miss May the 4th to be with you.